Yo, what's happening there? Happy summer 2020. Now, uh, we're going to be doing a lot of online stuff this year. Um, so I'm back, I guess. This is going to be the first video for the summer. So I want to introduce myself. I'm Mr. Nystrom. I shoot videos about stats, and this is the first video for the summer intro. Now, I'm going to give you just the big gist of this course you're about to take, and here's the big idea. Now, the course is called Statistics, and statistics are things, and it's not data. That's different, and I want to give you an idea of what those words are to start this whole thing off, and really all we're doing is, uh, I don't know if you have an aunt or a grandmother that makes delicious chowder, but here's the deal. If you want to know if that chowder is any good, do you have to pick up the whole bowl and, you know, all your friends behind you go, 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 go. No, you don't have to pound that whole vat in order to find out whether it's tasty. What you do instead of drinking your granny's chowder, um, instead of pounding the whole thing, you just take a spoonful and go, mm, good. That's statistics. That's the whole course in a nutshell. Now, um, and here's what I mean, and I'm gonna give you some uh, vocabulary to think about it. So, a lot of times we're curious about what's happening out in the world, right? Like, ooh, I wonder if codfish are bigger now than they were in the year 2000. Well, how would you know if codfish are bigger now? Now, there's no way you're gonna go out and catch all of the codfish, right? But you could go out and get a sample of codfish, just like you can take a spoonful of your granny's chowder. Because you'd never get all the codfish and weigh what you catch them all, put them down. Hold on, I gotta weigh this one. You put, I weighed it, oh, it's moving. No, you're not gonna do that, okay? Um, so you take samples. So what you actually do is this whole sampling thing is what the whole course is about. Now, let me get into it. So I'm gonna show you a little picture and, and I'm gonna show you this thing that's called the golden sentence that'll help you remember some of this vocabulary. So we have the vat of stew or chowder that your granny cooks. This is the population that we're interested in. Population. All right, cool. I want to know what's going on in there, but I'm not pounding the whole thing, right? So instead, I put in a spoon. And in that spoon, it's called a sample. Oh, that's not very good. Let me try that again. Sample. Okay, good. That's my sample. Now, I put the sample in, the population, scoop it out, and I taste the sample. Mmm. Now, the sample tells me what's happening in the population. That process has a special name. It's called inference. The process of taking a sample, okay, a, a handful of codfish, looking at them, or a scoop of the chowder and Mm -hmm. That sample, I use that to make an inference about the population. So when I taste the chowder, I go, mmm, chowder good. That makes me assume or make an inference that, mmm, big bowl of chowder good. Little spoon tastes good, big bowl must be good too. That, mmm, means, mmm, that's inference. If this is yummy, that's yummy, that's called inference. Now, the flavor of the spoon... This guy's flavor is called a statistic, okay? This guy's flavor is called a parameter, okay? So the parameter is what we're interested in. We don't know what it is. We're not gonna taste the whole thing, but we take a sample and we use the statistic to make an inference about the parameter. S -s 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 sample is a statistic, P -p 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 parameters come from populations. So the flavor here, this guy's flavor is called the parameter. This guy's flavor is called the statistic. Okay? So I use the flavor of this, I use this statistic to make an inference about the population parameter, the flavor of the population. Okay? Then there's another word called data. There's raw data out there. That's just individual numbers. So the data in this um, example would be like all the little things in the spoon, the potatoes, like the cream, the pepper, the clams, or if, if it's chowder, if it's clam chowder, or the corn, if it's corn chowder, or the beef, it's, if it's beef stew, right? The stuff that's in the spoon, the individual things, 
That's the raw data. Together they make the combined flavor. Let me explain. If I want to know what's happened to the weight of codfish, every individual, the, the, the individual weight of each fish is the raw data. 48 ounces, 12 ounces, 15, that's data. But I collect that data and I calculate the average of that sample. The average of a sample has a special name. The average of a sample is called a statistic. Just like the flavor of our sample, we're going to call a statistic. The real average weight of all codfish is a parameter. So we're going to use the statistic, the average of the codfish, that statistic, to make an inference about the average, the true average out there of all the codfish in the world, in Cape Cod or on the East Coast or whatever, um, the parameter. So we take statistics to make inferences about parameters. Now, what we don't do is pound the whole vat thing of soup. We don't take the whole thing and go, Wah! we don't do that. That's a census, right? We seldomly do a census. It's difficult, often impossible, almost always impossible. Unless you're, obviously, if you're going to the drive through at Wendy's, you're not going to take a sample if you have like seven people in the car and be like, hey man, what do you want, a burger? Okay, I'm seven burgers. No, you're going to ask everybody what they want, right? You're not going to take, you know, you're not going to take the average, you know what I mean? It would just be weird. So small populations that you're interested in, you can take a census, but usually in statistics, we don't. Um, so the golden census, the golden sentence I want you to remember is the following. I was curious about a population parameter, but a census wasn't worth doing. It was too costly or just was unreasonable. So I was curious about a population parameter, but a census was unreasonable. So instead, I took a sample and I used the data, because there's data in here and there's actually data in here that we don't collect. And I used the data to calculate a statistic to make an inference about the population parameter. So there's data in here, and there's data, obviously this is data, a bunch of data we don't get, but the data we pull out of here in our sample is the data we use to find the average, which we call a statistic. So it's a mouthful, but I'm going to say it again. I was curious about a population parameter, but a census was unreasonable. So instead, I took a sample, I used the data to calculate a statistic, and I used that statistic to make an inference about the population parameter, which is also known as the parameter of interest. If you can remember that, I was curious about a population parameter. I don't know what's going on out there, but a census would be unreasonable. Can't do that. So instead, I took a, I mean, a census was unreasonable. So instead, I took a sample. Use the data to calculate a statistic, huh? And use that statistic to say something or make an inference about the parameter of interest, which is the thing that's out there that we're trying to figure out. All right. So if you want to know the average weight of a cupcake at Phil's Cupcakes, you can't, you're not going to weigh all of the cupcakes, but if you randomly sample 27 cupcakes, you know, every day you go there, buy three or four, and then the next day you buy three or four, you know, and you take the weight, 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 the average weight of those cupcakes that you collected is probably pretty close to the average rate of all of those cupcakes that are made at that place. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the golden sentence. Sen sen sentence, not census, sorry. Census. If it was like a really small thing, you could take a census but of the, of the chowder, but then you wouldn't be able to share it with all your friends. I was curious about a population parameter, but a census was unreasonable. So instead, I took a sample, used the data to calculate a statistic, and used that statistic to make an inference about the population parameter. There it is. You guys, you're going to love this course. So many cool things. Stay tuned for a lot more videos. Have a great day.